Peloton, the product that everybody had to have, but not anymore. What do they need to do? When Peloton came out, they offered something that no one else really did. They also didn't have a lot of competition. And then the pandemic happened and everybody was looking for options for exercise in their house and Peloton went to the moon. But since then, not the same story. Their image is not what it used to be at all. People are questioning the price to pay and there is a ton of competition. And as a result, Peloton is just not at all considered what they used to be. So what do they need to do to get back to being the Peloton that everybody loves and wants? Well, I'll break down my thoughts here and I'm also interested in hearing what you think. My first suggestion for Peloton is the boring one, but that is to offer tiers. Right now they are moving to a price of $44 a month. And this has got a lot of people upset. They don't wanna pay that much money. And this price assumes that everybody uses Peloton in the same way. This is their primary form of exercise and they are using it constantly to justify that price, but that's not necessarily the case. Some people just wanna use this as part of their exercise regimen. Some people wanna be doing resistance training or outdoor stuff when they can. And this is just that thing to fill the gaps. And as a result, do you wanna pay $44 a month for something you might only use eight or 10 times a month? It's harder to justify that. So what I think they should do is offer tiers. If you want 10 rides a month, it's this price, 20 this much. And if you want unlimited, then you go to the full $44 a month. But let those people that say, hey, I'd like to get that bike, I'd like to use it, but I'm not gonna use it quite as much as everybody else because I have other options. This is just a part of what I'm gonna do. Well, let them get it at a better price and not have to pay that full $44 a month. And not only would this help people get into the Peloton that are maybe priced out right now, I think it would also help a Peloton's image because some people are starting to think they're just a money hungry company. And by showing that they're willing to kind of offer different tiers to people based on what their usage would be, shows that they're willing to work towards and for the customer. Next, we're gonna talk about the product line. If we go back just a little while, the only two products Peloton had were the bike and the tread. And both of these are cardio machines. Now I know some people love to get both and they're very happy with that, but a lot of people, it's one or the other to fit your cardio needs. And if we go back to that $44 a month charge, it's hard to have just one product be for that $44 a month and have that be justified. So if you can have more options to balance out that home gym and still use that $44 a month, but you know you have multiple options to work out in different ways and get that full body workout in the way you want, it's a little easier to justify that. And now they've recently came out with a Peloton guide, which I'm testing. And I think that does a great job of offering more to that whole Peloton ecosystem. But I always thought they were gaps. They don't have a good resistance machine and they need a rower. Well, they did announce that a rower is coming out. So hopefully that does happen. And that does, again, offers more variety and helps start to balance it out. But I still think a true resistance option would be great because then people, when you look at it, even if you start off with just a bike, you know that, yeah, I'm spending $44 a month out of the gate, but over time I might be able to get this and then I might be able to get this and it stays at that $44 a month or somewhere close to that. You don't have to keep increasing every time you buy a new option and you make it so you can have a full body workout, get the gym you want, but at that one monthly fee where it's much more justifiable. So as they continue to expand their product line or hopefully they do, I think it becomes much easier to consider the Peloton platform instead of knowing you're just in that one product, you got that monthly fee and that's what it is. Last is partnerships. And I know we talked about expanding the product line, which is great, but that takes time. So hopefully that does happen over time. But something that I'm starting to know is that in this connected fitness space, so many products are popping up, but they're almost all one-offs, which means you get a great product, but there's a service for that. And you have to pay to keep that product active. And if you find yourself wanting to build out a home gym where you have three or four options, you're gonna be paying a fortune because they each have their own subscription fee. And for this, I think back to the days of when internet was coming out and there was satellite or cable TV, home phone lines, cell phone lines, and you had to buy those all individually and it cost a little fortune. And the next thing you know, every commercial, every advertisement was bundle this, bundle that. I'll bring it under one umbrella. We'll give you everything you need at a reduced cost because you're willing to do business with them. And they had worked out the agreements with the various companies to make that work, but you just had to pay one fee and you got it at a reduced rate. Well, I would love some of these companies to start working together to say, hey, 
if you get this and this, even though we're not the same company, we'll give you a reduced rate. Yes, we get to still sell our product to you. We get to have a membership fee come in, but we'll give you that reduced rate. We'll let you get into this at a rate that's more acceptable to you. And we do the stuff behind the scenes to split the money up however we need to and make it more feasible to get into these different options instead of feeling like you just have to pick one because two is gonna make it too expensive. So partnerships with some of these companies. But we'll see what the future holds. Those were just my thoughts. But Peloton does need to work towards improving their image and getting back to the success that they once knew. But what do you think? What should Peloton do? to get their customers behind them again and have them be thought of that company that you want their product. It's gonna be very interesting to hear what all of you have to say, but I hope you did enjoy this. Hit that like button if you did. Subscribe to stay on top of everything where health and technology meet. And until next time, here's to a healthier you and have a good one.